Oh, what's up, y'all? I didn't see y'all standing there. Y'all just snuck right up on me trying to see what I'm doing. Um, first of all, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for clicking on this video. You guys snuck up on me while I'm heat and pressing some, some shirts for some coworkers here. Guys, you guys have no idea how much of an impact it is if you have just a small clientele of people who requests some shirts, um, whether it's heat pressing or embroidering, you guys have no idea how much of a big impact that can make on your income and on your life. So uh, if you can find a small group of people who consistently request a certain type of shirt or design, then you should definitely look into it, whether it be a security guard company or something like that. Guys, mind-blowing. Extra income goes a long way, especially when you start investing it, guys. So uh, first of all, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for clicking on it. Don't forget to visit the merch store, alanaway.com. Don't forget to use those Amazon links down in the description down below. Don't forget the Brotherhood is available on iTunes and Amazon for pre-order. And for, for actually not for pre-order, for purchase, because I bought mine today and I'm watching it right now downstairs, it's rolling. So give this video a thumbs up before we get started. And um, I know why you guys came here, because you guys saw the um, thumbnail. So let's go over to the other room and start this embroidery process. I'm going to show you how to hoop a shirt very carefully so that you can, look at this. How to hoop a shirt very carefully so that you can um, embroider directly on two garments guys this is something that i made a video on before but i don't know maybe a lot of people didn't see it so i'm gonna do it again and this time we're embroidering for be the difference clothing she wanted one of the family she's my cousin by the way and she wanted the family logo the family design the family crest rather on a shirt for my uncle guys so uh yeah we're gonna go over there and do that look at this one fresh off the presses guys boom so let's go over and do it. All right, guys, we are in the lab. I'm gonna show you guys how I hoop this stuff. Cause you gotta do this. You gotta be very, very careful hooping this because if you don't hoop it right, you will jack your shirt up and you'll go through a bunch of shirts um, and they'll be basically useless, all right? So first thing you wanna um, evaluate is your hoop. This is the hoop. This is the part that goes on top of the fabric. This is the part that goes underneath the fabric. It has little arrows on here right here so you can see which side is the bottom which side is the top you want to pay close attention to that don't want to hoop it this way just hoop it the proper way even though it fits it's a little bit off but you want to hoop it the proper way so pay attention just match the two arrows up like so and it fits like a glove like i said this part goes to the top this part goes to the bottom with a stabilizer over top first thing you want to do is first thing you want to do is um loosen this up a bit make sure it's nice and loose so that when it's underneath you can just push it in like that all right and you're going to want to hoop it like this with this part facing the machine so the machine is going to be connected like this part is going to slide down in the machine because your design as it's displayed on the image is going to hoop is going to um st stitch out like this all right um th well this side is going to be up this side is going to be down right left etc etc because if you hoop it like this and you go to embroider it thinking it's going to be up. No, you just went the wrong way. All right. Second thing, when you are framing up your hoop, you kind of, you got this grid right here that tells you, um, when you, you get, when you get your uh, hoop, all of them come with this grid. So you can like, kind of like put this grid down over top of the top part and see where the center of your design is going to be as you're hooping it. All right. Now let's start the hooping process. Let me put this to the side for a second. Put both of them to the side. And what I do is I take the bottom of my shirt so it's easy to make it. This makes it easy to work with and I roll it. I start rolling it up like so. Just start rolling it, rolling it, rolling it, rolling it, rolling it, rolling it. All right. Roll it up. So that you have access to the part, to just the part that you need. All right. So now, also you want to kind of eyeball it. It also helps if you have more space, like a larger space to work with than I have. All right. I could have put this on a big table in the other room, but it's okay. We're over here in the embroidery area. 
Let me push the machine to the side a little bit more. Okay, there you go. All right, so I want my design to go about right here on the, um, that's the heart area. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take this, right? I'm gonna take my hoop and I'm gonna place it right underneath around the area where I want my design to go. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure, I'm just eyeballing, I'm trying to make sure it's straight, I'm trying to make sure the hoop is straight and it's in the spot where I want it, where I want it to uh, embroider on. All right, so generally when we're pressing stuff, we want it to be four fingers from the neck. So four fingers from the neck, that'll put my design somewhere around right here, not too close to the side, but somewhere around right there. That looks like a good spot to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my stabilizer, and I'm gonna take my stabilizer. One side is smooth, and one side is not smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my stabilizer nice and easy so I'm not moving it too much on top of my hoop. Putting the stabilizer on top of my hoop, all right? All right, now the stabilizer is on top of the hoop, laid down on top, covering up all four sides. All right, let me make sure it's high enough at the top. It's not, so I'm gonna pull it up a little bit more. So it's covering up all four sides of the um, hoop. Paper right here, fill paper at the top, fill paper at the bottom, that's good. So I got it in the right spot, right? So we're taking our time in doing this. This is not a rush job because if you rush and do this, you will screw it all up. All right, so now you take the top part of the hoop, and again, it's still in the same place. I haven't moved it because I was holding it with my hand as I was um, putting the stabilizer in, right? So it's nice and straight. And then you take and you find that hoop, right? And then you um, kind of pull it open a little bit with your, you, um, what I'm doing is I'm pulling it open a little bit with that slack that we created. So I pull that hoop open, and then I take my fingers and I'm just hooping it. I'm pushing it down like that. And now our fabric is pretty much hooped. But as you can see, there's a little bit of slack in there. So I'm gonna take just the shirt. I'm gonna tug just a little bit on the shirt just to get rid of the slack that we have. All right, I'm gonna open this up, unscrew this a little bit more to give it a little bit more, make it a little looser, all right? So I'm just getting rid of a little, a little, let me see if I can zoom in and show you guys what I'm doing. See like a little wrinkle right here. I'm just pulling it out. But I'm, what I'm, when I'm pulling it, I'm trying to make sure I don't stretch the material because I want the material to be tight, but I don't want the material to be stretched. All right. So that looks good to me. It looks pretty good. I want the material to be tight, but I don't want it to be stretched. All right. I don't want to stretch the material. Okay, so that looks good. It's got a little bit of give, tight but not stretched, and it's flat. There's no wrinkles in there. All right, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to tighten this up because I think it's in a pretty good spot. I think it's a pretty good spot, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up. But what you would do to be sure is you would go ahead and use this spot right here. You can put that down. You can tell which way is up, which way is down because A, B, C right there. And you can go ahead and know that this is, this, if you got a design right here, you can go ahead and know that this is the center design and this is where your design is pretty much going to embroider on. All right. So uh, let's start, let's hoop this and let's go ahead and stitch this, a big version of this, onto the shirt. All right. Still straight. The edge of the hoop is on the collar. Looking good, guys. Looking good to me. All right. So let's take it over and board the machine. Actually, you know what? I'm going to rehoop this because I think it needs to go a little bit this way. Yeah. So you want to make sure you do this correctly, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen this up and rehoop it because I don't like the way it's laid out. I think it's a little bit slanted a little bit. That's just what I think. And it's better to have it straight, really, really straight, than to have an imperfection that you can see. And if you can see it, if somebody looks hard enough, they're going to be able to see it too. So just go ahead and get it perfect. Take the time out to do the prep work so that you can have a good finished product. 
I don't want to give this to a client and it's crooked. It's not good. All right, so like I said, it was a little bit crooked this way, so I'm just going to go ahead and slide it a little bit that way. All right. Slide it a little bit. Straighten out the shirt. Straighten it out. And again, it could not, it's possible that it wasn't crooked and it's just a shirt the way it appeared, but this is, this is the hard part, right? It's really, really hard to do this. But, you know, just be careful holding everything straight and rehoop. Open it up a little bit so that hoop can slide in. And there you go. I think that's better. That, that looks better to me. All right, you guys can't see it that good because it's on video and yeah it didn't look like it was crooked on the video as I look at the screen up top over top of me but um I could see that it was slightly ever so slightly off a little bit to my liking so now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this back up and that just locks everything in place tighten it up and that locks that hoop in place so this thing is not going to move. All right. Go ahead and see the back. Don't like that looseness back there, but it's okay. It's not going to matter. What matters is this material up top. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and put this fabric inside of the machine. All right, All right guys. Now that fabric is hooped. We we'll go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and place the garment inside of the machine. All right. So you pay close attention to this part right here because this part right here. Let me move this over a little bit so you guys can see. This part right here is the part that um, we're gonna lock the this part into. All right. So what we're gonna do is grab our um, zoom out a little bit. Grab our shirt. And we're just going to go ahead and slide it underneath. We're going to lay it flat. See, this is right here. I'm laying it flat because you got to be mindful of everything that you have. Lay it flat on the device, on the embroidery machine. Grab the access. First of all, get everything from under here. All right. So grab all the access, slide it underneath, all the access fabric. Go ahead and slide it underneath. All right, now you see the hoop. Now you just slide it in there. Boom. See how I did that? When it's laying flat on the machine, it just slides right past the thing right there. All right, right past the, uh, as long as your foot is up. Your foot down, you can't do it. Foot up, you can, as long as it's flat on the machine, it slides by. All right, now this is the neck part. So I'm turning it, I'm turning it, because here's my thing, now catch. Turning it, boom, and now we are in place. We just go ahead and grab this right here. I'm gonna try to do it with my fingers out of the way. And this, this is a lever right here, two notches right here, and two little um, circle things right here, and a little lip right here on the, uh, on the thing, what do you call this, on the hoop. So you just go ahead and pull and push this, push this uh, hoop against this, so this little piece goes back and it slides down and clips into place just like that. It's in place, all right? So we are hooped up. We are ready to go. Final check is you just wanna make sure there's no fabric underneath here because if it is all the way around, you check all the way around, make sure no fabric underneath, no fabric underneath, no fabric underneath, that's good. And you wanna make sure that this area right here is clear and your embroidery area is clear feel around and we are ready to embroider guys so now that we are now that we have everything hooped we're going to go ahead and navigate our um, USB drive that's on the side here you guys see it in the corner and we're going to go ahead and navigate and find our design here it is right here the family crest we're going to go ahead and set it and we're going to go ahead and um, end edit we're going to go ahead and move around move the needle around and see how big the design is going to be and while well, let me zoom out so you guys can see what I'm doing right here. I always do this. I've just gotten addicted to it because it's pretty cool. You can see how big your design's gonna be. It moves the arm, so move your hand out of the way and tells you the edge of the design is right there. The bottom of the design is right there. This part of the design right here. And that edge is right there. 
and it also moves around so you can see what, um, what you need to move out of the way and such. All right, so boom, and go back to the center. Now I've already moved it all around. I see how big my design is gonna be. I see it's gonna fit. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, no, I should be all right. It should be straight. I'm gonna go ahead and start my embroidery, guys. Um, I could actually pull this, unloosen this and pull this a little bit. Matter of fact, let me do that. It's better to be safe than sorry, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off real fast. This is a prime example. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this up just a tad bit and pull my shirt, because I see one area that I don't like the way it looks. Got a little bubble in there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the shirt a little bit so it gets a little tighter, not too tight. There we go, got that out, got that out, perfect. That's what I'm talking about. And stuff like that you wanna pay attention to, guys, because if you don't, you got, potential of messing up your design and you don't want to do that all right so everything's out of the way that little part is gone now our design is a uh, flat nothing is underneath we did all our checks all right now we're going to go ahead and press ok on the screen okay and now we're going to press embroider and when we press embroider um right here on the screen we don't have our bobbin in the bobbin wine position. Bobbin wine position would make the bobbin wine. See how it changed that color? Now, now it's in the embroidery position. All right, so one person was having this problem in a video and I told them, your uh, thread thing is in the bobbin wine position. So she kept on saying this, it won't start embroidering, only the top part is spinning. But no, she had it in the wrong position. Go like this, that puts it in embroidery mode. All right, so I'm gonna slow my machine down so it can embroider slow. I'm gonna hit, and I mean, I'm gonna hit embroider and it's telling me it's gonna take 25 minutes and it's asking for the first color, which is gonna be this green right here. And I have it, everything sitting right here. That's this color. So I'm gonna go ahead and unload this thread that I have at the top, which was winding a bobbin. And you know guys, what I should have did, I should have put a brand new um, bobbin in there, but I didn't, but it's okay. Um, make sure I got the right thread. Yeah, that's the same thread. I'm just matching up the colors here. I'm just going to go ahead and um, thread the machine real fast. Put the thread. It says it's going to take four minutes. Boom, boom, boom. Watch my tutorial on how to thread this machine so you can do it nice and easy like I am. Boom. That's in there. Where's my embroidery scissors at? Right here. Move this through here. And we're ready to start, guys. Ready to start embroidering. It's down. Everything's good. Sorry, I didn't show you guys this part right here. All right, now we're, I'm gonna press embroider and it's gonna start. Here we go. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, guys. Every time you're watching my videos, make sure you're always giving the videos a thumbs up. It helps up a lot. It helps the uh, algorithm. It helps moves up, move, move us up in ranking and helps the video get shown more. Don't forget to leave comments and stuff like that. And but most importantly, don't forget to like the video. Like the video, press that like button. Share the video also, share it, all right? And as you can see, it's now putting on that first little corner part of the design. You can compare it to this. This is a smaller version of this. Oh, you can't see it. You can compare it to this. This is a smaller version of the one that's, that's embroidering now. You can see it compared to size. This one's gonna be way bigger than this little guy right here. All right, don't do what I do, guys. <laughs> yeah, so. There we go, guys. Let's go 
looks a little bit off, to be honest with you guys. Stitching out that red, guys. Just had to uh, put in a new bobbin in there. Guys, if you want to purchase your SE600, your brother SE600, use the link. Use my link down in the description below this video. Once again, if you want to purchase your brother SE600 so you can embroider files like me and do designs like me, purchase your brother SE600 using my link down in the description below. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Let's keep on watching the stitch go. Guys, if you can see what the embroidery machine just did, it went ahead. We had a little gap right here that I was concerned about. It went ahead and it filled that gap right in. I love this thing. I thought this shirt was going to be um, possibly a disaster, but the Brother SE600 went ahead and fixed the problem. I don't think it was a problem. I just think that's just how it stitches out stuff. So, um, yeah, let's continue on. Love this machine. Never lets me down. Alright guys, now that the embroidery file is done, you see that it says finished on the embroidery machine. We're going to go ahead and unhoop this, take this out, and check out how it came out. Uh, so, we're just going to raise the presser foot, swipe the scissors underneath here to make sure it's loose. Go ahead to the side, pull this little lever here, and pick it up. It comes loose. Go ahead and slide this from underneath here. Get all the, take your time, get all the material out of the, from underneath there. Bring it over to this part right here. And let's check out our design, man. Let's see how it came out. We're going to unhoop this and see how it came out. I think it's looking okay so far. I see one part that I have to go on the computer and kind of adjust again. And I said that last time. That I did this and I should have fixed it, but I didn't. It's my fault. But overall, I think it came out good. Looks real Harry Potterish. <laughs> Tell me what you guys think, guys. The family um, crest. I didn't add the part on that I said I was going to add on, which is a secret, guys. I'll tell you guys later. But uh, the family crest looking real good. Got the last name on there. But this part right here is a part that I should have adjusted. You see there's a slight little gap right here. But it looks real clean. Came out on the shirt good. Let's open up the shirt so we can see how centered that is. Zoom out a little bit. Check that out. Check that out. Looks good. On the shirt. Looks good, guys. Um, now all we got to do is iron this out. One or two washes and that will get rid of that little ring right there actually just um just the iron or like one wash will get rid of that and we check out the back of it guys because uh we didn't take off the stabilizer yet so this is the back of it let's get a close-up of that so guys check out the back and this is tear away stabilizer so we just go ahead and tear it away i have two sheets on here tear away the sheets one by one and it just tears off. Links to the products in the description down below. Links to this, links to all these products in the description down below if you want to purchase this stuff, guys. And do stuff like this. Go watch all of my videos and you'll learn how to do all the stuff that I'm doing right here for yourself. Go ahead and clip the edges right here with your scissors with the little curve on there. Once again, links to these embroidery scissors in the description down below. Trim off the edges. Trim off all the loose threads right here. I just changed that battery. Sheesh. And we'll be good to go. All right, guys. I hope this video was helpful. Got the Family Crest logo and, and um, embroidered on the royal blue shirt just like joy requested this was a special request this is not something that i would have done i would have kept it on a black or on a white shirt or something like that not a royal blue but she requested it this is what she want 
wanted. This is what she got. It's nice and centered, nice and placed greatly. Guys, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you share the videos with your friends. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. I can't stress enough. Give the video a thumbs up. It helps the channel out a lot. Use the links in the products. It leaves the links in the description down below to buy your products so you can make stuff like this, guys. Don't forget to shop my Amazon store. Use my links to shop if you're buying anything on Amazon. Visit the merch store at allenaway.com. Help support the channel. It's your boy, man. See you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.